How's it going guys? And welcome back to another JHR review. And today I'm looking at a Samsung USB microphone that is for iOS. And this has actually um, been sent to me from Samsung to be able to review for you guys. This is going to be completely unbiased though. And uh, I'm already excited though, because as you can see, it has a really cool design. It almost reminds me of like a retro looking microphone. But uh, it's interesting because it's going to be able to hook up to either an iPhone or an iPad. So let's go ahead and check this out and turn it around to the side and see some of the features that it has. Let's go ahead and focus in. It says broadcast quietly. USB iOS microphone for streaming and recording directly to your computer, iPhone, or iPad. It says simply start. Simply connect via USB, no drivers required, and start recording at 24-bit, 96 kilohertz high resolution audio. It says it has a multi-pattern mic, a dual 16 millimeter condenser mic capsule with three selectable pickup patterns. It says it provides flexibility for any recording application. And then it says preferred placement, position the microphone at a nearly at nearly any angle and fold back legs for optimal placement. And then it says iOS compatible, turn your iPhone or iPad into a powerful production studio by connecting the satellite microphone and the included lightning cable. And if we turn it around to the back, we get a little bit more information right up here. And it shows it connecting to an iPad, which I have right next to me. It says, USB iOS broadcast microphone. Samsung Satellite is a broadcast quality USB iOS mic designed for capturing high definition audio on your computer, iPhone, or iPad. And actually, this just gives the same information that was on the side. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what it's all about. Has a little uh, pull tab here at the top. I kind of ended up just ripping it off. And here we go. Let's open right here. And then on this side. And then we're greeted with a box that slides out. And another simple pull tab. It is packaged very well, which is good. And then just remove this right here. And it's starting to slide out. Ooh, that looks really nice. Let's go ahead and pull it out of here. It looks as though it's already put together. slide it out of here and focus in on it so this is the mic right here it looks really nice nice reflectivity and then it has this really beautiful kind of silver grill on here and we'll check out the buttons in a minute but let's go ahead and remove the rest of the contents in the box comes with an instruction manual we'll move that to the side Right here, it looks like we have a micro USB to a lightning cable. That's very interesting. And then right here, we have a micro USB to regular USB. So you can use it on your computer as well, which is really convenient. But let's go ahead and open this up right here. This mic would be really good for ASMR purposes. If you have like a iPhone, and you'd like to use that as your camera, you could actually plug this guy in and do some really nice, uh, high quality ASMR sounds. So that's pretty cool. So let's take a closer look at the mic now. I'm gonna turn it to its side. It has a really nice grill. And it has a good weight to it too. This is actually made out of metal. So it has a really good weight. Looks as though it has a multiple different, uh, kind of capturing points. 
So this one is like an 8, so it captures from front and back. And then right there, it looks like it has that kind of front area. And maybe that's like an in-between. It has a button right here to mute. And uh, maybe it's touch. But that's the mute button right there. And then it also has a gain as well. You can turn it up and down. And then it says uh, to monitor your mic for off and on. So I assume that there's a headphone jack. There is. That's very helpful for uh, ASMR purposes. So you can actually hear yourself talking. Bottom has a nice mount for uh, putting it on like a microphone arm. So that's very convenient. But then it also has these really neat fold-out legs. Let's go ahead and yank on that opens up just like that. Kind of like a uh, pocket knife. It even has the little grooves, kind of looks like it, doesn't it? That's so cool. And then let's open the last one. And then we'll move it back a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this into the iPad. And then I'm also going to do a PC audio test as well. So that goes in on the back. And then we're gonna go ahead and focus in on the iPad. And we're just going to go ahead and stick this lightning bolt cable on the side. There we go. Now let's open voice memos. And sometimes for some reason it likes to show my street address, so I'll probably just black that out. And let's go ahead and turn this around. And we'll set it to the bottom setting. And click record. As you can see, the light actually turned green right here, if I focus in on that. This is an audio test of the Samsung microphone. Let's switch to the metal setting. This is an audio test of the Samsung microphone. Again. This is an audio test of the Samsung microphone. All right, now let's go ahead and pause that, or click done. And now we can click uh, play. Let me unplug this first since it has a output through the microphone. As you can see, the light actually turned green right here if I focus in on that. This is an audio test of the Samsung microphone. I'll switch to the little setting. This is an audio test of the Samsung microphone. Again. This is an audio test of the Samsung microphone. All right, now let's go ahead and pause that or click down. And as you can see, it actually sounds really good. It probably doesn't sound as good as it would be um, if you were actually here in person. But in order to fix that, we're going to go ahead and roll the audio I recorded with my PC. So here we go. This is an audio test using the bottom setting on the Samsung microphone. Let's switch to two. This is an audio test using the middle setting on the Samsung microphone. This is the third setting on the Samsung microphone. All right, so that was the audio on the PC, and I honestly think that that was pretty good. This microphone is very nice looking as well. I like the kind of retro capsule looking thing that it's got going on. And uh, yeah, it even has the ability to uh, hear yourself, which I always like. So yeah, all these different options, mute button, gain, it is all around a pretty nice microphone, and I'm really happy with it. So uh, thank you again, Samsung, and I'll put this in the link in the description below. And as always, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I have my Patreon in the description below if you'd like to uh, check that out. And I'll see you in the next video.